Can I get a, um, a double Whopper meal, please? Um, just Coke, thank you. Yeah, just regular. And um, just a six pack of nuggets. Nuggets. Yeah, do you have nuggets? Uh, ten, please. Uh, yep, thank you. Yeah, sure. Two thousand years later. Thank you. Amen, say man. It's your boy Ruben Wills back in the cut with another lit video. This is a celebration video if you guys can't already tell by the title. Yes, that's right. Your man finally made it to 8,000 subscribers, man. And it's an amazing feeling. It's so amazing to finally reach 8,000. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing to have you guys with me on this journey. It's really humbling, man honestly but in today's video as you can see I've got my Burger King with me now I've done a lot of different mukbangs over the years on my channel and now today it's all about Burger King I think I haven't done Subway yet so I need to do that next so that's definitely going to be uh, the next one maybe when we get to 9k you feel me you feel me but for today we're going to be doing a Burger King mukbang slash Q&A video where I'm going to be answering your guys' questions that I asked you guys to send through. So basically, I asked you guys on my Instagram story to send through any questions you guys have for today's Mukbang 8K sub celebration video. And you guys came through, so thank you to everybody who sent their questions through. Go ahead and smash that like button for your man. And don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new to my channel and turn on my post notification bell as well to stay notified when I upload new content. So yeah, I just pulled up here in the Burger King parking lot. As you can see, Burger King is behind me there. There's a sign if you can't see it. There's also a sign at the back there. So I just parked up and I'm gonna answer your questions now. By the way guys, leave all your comments down below in the comment section as well. I love to read your guys' comments. Okay, let's not waste any time, man. You guys have no idea how hungry I am. I haven't had breakfast, so I'm ready to eat, man. And I know this food is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But first, obviously, I've got to say grace, as always. So, thank you, Lord, for the food I'm about to receive. Bless it to my body, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, guys. Amen, y'all. So, let me show you what I've got today, guys. Basically, just got fries. We know Burger King fries are not the best. Uh, nuggets. Fries and nuggets, as you can see. Sweet and sour sauce. And it's like a double, double Whopper burger. Do you guys have these in the United States? I'm pretty sure you guys do. I don't know if they're like this or not, but yeah, anyway. And then obviously I've just got my ice cold Coke. You feel me? You feel me? That's basically it, guys. I just wanted to have something to eat because your man was hungry, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get into the first question, guys. Okay, so the first question comes from Jilla Hermy. Shout out to you, man. You know I call you G because I can't say your name. Uh, it's it's hard for me to say. But anyway, your question was, what instrument do you play? It's a good question, man. It's a really good question. What instrument do I play? Nothing right now. 
yeah guys I'm mainly just vocals just do vocals um, but actually I did I used to play piano when I was a kid and I had like training and stuff and I used to have a tutor and stuff like that and then I didn't continue with it so I stopped when I was like I don't know I don't even know what age maybe like 12 or something around that age then I haven't done it ever since so I'm actually one of my goals for 2020 is to learn how to play the piano again so I'm definitely gonna get into that man I need to I need to it's only right okay let's try this first nugget guys let's try this first nugget nugget I think the Burger King nuggets are not too bad actually okay so let me get the sweet and sour sauce man you gotta have that man check it out check it out Mmm. Only thing though, I feel like the McDonald's sweet and sour sauce is better than than Burger King. Do you know what I mean? I don't really like this one. It's okay, but yeah. Anyway, I will eat it. I will eat it. So yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna try and get back into playing the piano this year. I think it's an essential thing that will definitely help me with my musicianship, if you want to call it that. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing to have, as well as just being able to sing as well, you know what I mean? It's good to be like multifaceted when it comes to music. So yeah man, thank you for the question. Okay, so the next question comes from Tag Han, and they asked, if you could do anything in the world, what would it be? Bruh, you're hitting me with the hard questions, man. That's not an easy question to answer, you know. But uh, to be honest, if I could do anything in the world, what would it be? <clears throat> Ooh, spicy. Anything in the world, I mean, I don't know what you were kind of referring to, whether you mean like musically or you're just talking about anything in general. But for me, if I could do anything in the world, I mean, it would probably be to be a singer, obviously. Um, that is what I want to do. So if I could do anything in the world, it would be that. Musically, I'd, I'd want to release, you know, albums and stuff like that. But what would I? What else would I want to do in the world? Um, hmm. Probably, probably help lead people to to God. I'd say, you know, on a humanitarian type vibe. But um, if there's anything I could do in the world, what would it be? Yeah, be an entertainer, I guess. And I'm kind of on the way to being that anyway. So I guess that would be the ultimate. And just help people and travel the world, travel the world. I definitely want to travel the world. If I could do anything, I want to travel, that's for sure, that's for sure. Thank you for the question, man. Okay, let me try these fries. I really don't like Burger King fries. They're not the greatest. Even McDonald's fries are way better than these. And yes, I know that you guys call them fries over there. We call them fries too, but we mainly call them chips. I don't know why. It just is what it is. You feel me? Okay fam, I had to change the angle because the lighting was not giving me what I needed. So I had to change the angle, so here we are from this angle now. Now let me get back into the questions. The next question comes from BK and he asked me, are you in a relationship? Bruh, if you guys are followers of me, you know that I'm not in a relationship right now. I'm in a relationship with God, that's about it. But no, I'm not in a relationship with any females right now. I'm just chilling, <clears throat> enjoying being single. I mean, come on, females cost too much money, man. I ain't got time. Nah, psych, psych. But to be honest, guys, I'm just trying to, um, you know, better myself, self mastery, and all that kind of stuff. Be until I'm, you know, I've got myself right until I'm ready to be with somebody, and that's not right now. So when the time comes, it'll be the right timing to have have a partner and. I'll be able to share that with you guys and we'll probably have a couple's channel, God willing. You guys will get to know me as Ruben and whoever the whoever the female will be. So no, I'm not in a relationship right now and I'm not looking. I'm just uh, enjoying my life right now. So trying to enjoy my life. You feel me? You feel me? So yeah, man. Thank you for that question, BK. Very spicy. Very spicy. You're coming for the personal questions, aren't you? That's okay. That's okay. Whopper burger. Let's try this Whopper burger, guys. It's pretty big. Can you see that? Let's try it out. 
I love a Whopper burger, man. It's my favorite burger. I think it's so much better than any ones you can get from like McDonald's or anything like that. It's just, it's a Whopper, it's huge. Look at that, baby, look at that. All right, let's go take a bite. You ready? I'm ready. Mmm, so smoky, so tasty. It's got such a smoky taste to it. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. I love it, man. I love it. I really do. By the way, guys, I'm shooting this video on the hottest day that my city has ever had. It's going to be 33 degrees here, and we've never been over 31. Yesterday was hot, but today is even hotter. It's actually summertime here in New Zealand, guys. So it's so hot right now. Like, even right now, as I film this video, it's almost lunchtime, and it's pretty dang hot up in here right now. But the things I do to entertain you guys, the things I do to entertain you. Then again, we needed to do this video to celebrate 8K, so cheers, Rebellion Gang. Cheers. Okay, yo, the next question comes from tank.carriage and he asked have you ever met anyone who has had a hard time from next music now if you guys don't know what next music is it's actually a music app that i am a part of to answer your question man as far as i know i haven't met anybody who has a hard time from next music and i don't want to put your business out there but i will say that i am always here for you guys and if you ever want to hit me a dm about anything guys i'll do my best to respond I mean, I'm only one person, you know, I'm only one man, I can only do so much. I'll definitely try to get back to you, and uh, if you ever have any concerns or questions, just hit me up, man, because I know what it's like to be the underdog. I've been the underdog before, and uh, yeah, so if you need any advice, feel free to DM me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, I haven't really come across anybody who's had a hard time on Next Music yet, but I mean, it could happen, you know. There are trolls from time to time, just like here on YouTube as well, but um, yeah, man. I will always do my best to look out for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, these fries, man, they're definitely the worst. McDonald's fries are the best, man. No cap, no cap. Okay, the next question comes from my guy, Jonathan. What's up, little bro? Uh, your question was, name your least favorite track on every MC album. So that's Mariah Carey, guys. Man, you want me to go through the whole discography? Dang, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'll do it for you just because you are one of my loyal subscribers, man. Okay, so let me think. I've got to think off the top of my head, man. Um, my least favorite song from the first album, Mariah Carey, would probably be Alone in Love. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the Emotions album, I'd say my least favorite song would be Till the End of Time. Even though these songs are still good, but that's probably my least favorite till the end of time. For Music Box album, I'd say my least favorite song would probably be Just To Hold You Once Again. Yeah, it didn't really grab me that song, but that's probably my least favorite from Music Box. My least favorite song from Daydream would probably be Long Ago. Mind you, I know these songs are still lit, but... Yeah, that's probably my least favorite from Daydream. The Butterfly album, my least favorite song from Butterfly, probably be Baby Doll. I don't really listen to that one, so yeah, Baby Doll. Uh, Rainbow, my least favorite song from Rainbow, After Tonight. After Tonight, I pretty much never listen to that song, so After Tonight would be my least favorite from that album. From Charm Bracelet, my least favorite song would be Clown. Uh, my least favorite song from The Emancipation of Mimi would probably be Say Something. Even though I know that is a fan favorite, but for me, I don't really like that song. It's okay, but yeah, probably Say Something would be my least favorite from that album. I know, controversial. From E equals MC Squared, my least favorite would be Wish You Well, but it would be my least out of all the ones that are ranked on the album even though I still love it, you know what I'm saying? From Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel, my least favorite song would probably be Inseparable. Like I said to a lot of Mariah songs, I still like these songs, but that's probably my least favorite on, on that Memoirs album. Yeah. 
Me, I Am Mariah, The Elusive Chanteuse. My least favourite song from their album would be a song called Meteorite. It's definitely not my vibe, if you know what I'm saying. And then for her final album so far, Caution, um, my least favourite song from that album is One More Again. Now, I know, I know some people really like that song, but for me, it kind of feels like an album filler, even though I know that the album overall is fire and it snaps. Just for me personally, One More Again didn't really do it for me. But yeah, that'd be my least favourite on the album. Caution. Thanks for your question, bro. I appreciate it, man. That was a good question. That was a really good question. And she's got so many albums, so it's like I had to really think about each one, you know. <laughs> but thanks, man. I appreciate that. I love the music questions too, guys. Okay, the next question is, what do you want your legacy to be? <sighs> now that's a spicy question, man. That's spicy right there, baby. Thank you for that question. Um, what do you want your legacy to be? You know, I have to really think about that, but just for the video, I would say I want my legacy to be one of honor, righteousness. I want my kids, my future children and their and their kids to look at me as being a inspiration to them. Look at what my dad Ruben did. Look at what my granddad Ruben did. He had an amazing life. He did amazing things and he, he did his part to change the world. You know what I'm saying? I would say that that's what I would want my legacy to be. I want my legacy to be wealth, you know, generational wealth for my, my for my family that will come after me. You know, all my family that will come, that will be born years from now, that, that stem from me and my family. That's what I would say I want my legacy to be. Even though that's a question that I could go really deep into, yeah, man, I think that's the best way to summarize it for me right now is, yeah, I just want to leave a, a longing legacy that will inspire many to come, many people to come. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. I like that, man. Okay guys, and my final question comes from my guy BK, thank you for the question BK, thank you my guy. Okay, and the question he wanted to know is how tall are you? Uh, man, I hate that question bro, I hate that question bro, and I'll tell you why man, because I've always wanted to be 6 feet and I never got there. I never got there. I always wanted to be that tall. I used to be delusional and, you know, make myself believe that I was like 5 foot 11, even 5 foot 10. But when I actually did my height recently, I realized I'm actually like 5 foot 9. But when I have my Tims on, my Timberlands, I'm at least 5 foot 10, you feel me? But I actually really don't know for sure because I feel like when I measured my height, I didn't actually do it properly. You know what I'm saying? Well, at least I hope so. Because I want to be tall, but at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, as far as I know, I'm like five foot nine, but who really knows, man? <laughs> Why do I have to be five foot nine, man? Why? Why? Well, guys, that looks like that's the end of your guys' questions that you sent through. So, thank you so much for sending through your questions, man. I really appreciate it, Rebellion Gang. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let me just go ahead and have my final nugget. One left. The nuggets are good, the chips are not so good at Burger King, I will say that. It's my final, my final thoughts on Burger King. I need to have my final bite of my burger, my Whopper burger. But yeah guys, 2020 on my channel is going to be lit, I'm coming with the heat. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and let everybody else know about my channel, share my channel. I will have some brand new reactions coming soon. We're starting February off right, man. So I've got all new content coming for you guys. And I hope you guys are excited, man. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. But once again, thank you guys for helping me get to 8,000 subscribers, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this mukbang. By the way, guys, let me know down in the comments, which mukbang should I do for my next milestone video when I reach 9K? And type in the comments, hashtag road to 9K, baby. This hits, man. This right here, this baby hits. This is fire.
well guys thank you for eating and celebrating with me and thank you for sending in your questions once again i appreciate it i'm gonna head off now guys because it's way too hot out here and i need to get into some air conditioning no cap no cap follow me on instagram guys if you haven't followed me already at ruben underscore wills and i actually will follow you guys back i follow everybody back so make sure you do that it's one of the best ways to stay updated with everything that's going down with my uh, youtube channel and my music speaking of music i am looking forward to releasing some more cover songs this year and also my first ever ep man yeah that's gonna be crazy man i'm just excited to release some music and it's gonna be my debut into the music world so i'm not nervous but i'm like anticipating it and i'm just ready for it to begin man and i will definitely let you guys all know when the music will drop and when my ep comes out i don't have any i don't have a time right now but i'll definitely let you guys know it's definitely going to be this year so i'm excited to see what this year is going to bring 2020 baby oh by the way i am hoping planning to go to los angeles in june i believe for vidcon and just for obviously a vacation as well i've never been to united states uh, shout out to Miss C and Monet from It's Flash Monet. I am going to have the honor to spend time with them and do some collaborations over there. So it's not set in stone yet, but here's hoping. Here's hoping. Just got to pray for it. Pray for it, guys, so that it happens. But yeah, 2020, 2020, baby. It's going to be an amazing year. It just feels different. It feels different in the air. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> this is going to be an amazing year and an amazing decade. Not just for me, but for you guys as well, Rebellion Gang. I want you guys to achieve all your dreams as well, you know what I'm saying? But anyway guys, let's take it by storm. I love you guys and thank you for your support as always. Um, don't forget to leave all your comments down below under the video. And leave me suggestions as well. And don't forget to smash that like button as usual, the most important thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Let's go baby, hashtag road to 9k. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Stay fly, stay flea, and remember, stay humble. Peace.